All right, what's up? Good morning. It's Sunday. What's Baru? Then after that, we'll go to Cherila, which is around 4,000 meters above the sea level. Basically, it's a pass which is between Ha and Baru Valley. So there are four of us, and uh, <clears throat> with us we also have a female friend. So she will help us make videos. So let's go. <music> Bike spot down there. All right, here she is. Let's just go and start. I'll turn the key first. Ignition on. Turn on the kill switch. Usually, what I do when I uh, start I start the bike, I just pull the clutch. But then now I'm holding camera, so just. It's 9:26 right now. Look at the mess from yesterday. Alright, okay, I'm moving out now. I hope everything goes well because actually, mic, I hope it works because I'm having a lot of issue with my mic. Uh, I also got that Meona Villier mic, but then, like, it's got that TRS connector which is not working, right? So, right now, I'm going from Changbangdu and I'll pick my friend from Flyover Bridge. Okay, about to reach Flyover. Hello. No, I'm wrong. Eh, thank you. Only left with one bar, so I have to fuel up. Meanwhile, the boys are coming from. Uh, we are about to reach the station. Like there, uh, in the express highway, there was a police, you know, uh, with a uh, speed gun. So luckily, I was not speeding. You cannot do a U-turn from here, so you have to go down. Let's make a U-turn now. For the gas. <sighs> I wish the sun comes out soon. Full, no? Line the dinmi again, so. Dinmi, Okay, we have to make one one round again. Huh? Kete? Oh, my banana is under the table. Ah, this is the receipt. Sixty-five. It's speeding sixty-five, oh. Fifty, mother, na. Oh, where is it? I think today we need to take slow, cause friend got the ticket for over speeding. Kizi. Huh? So basically, they are only uh, targeting the bikers because yeah. Ah, sir. Oh shit! Three times in a row. <laughs> uh, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> Oh no, what is happening, guys? This is one of the best highway, but then the uh, worst part is that when we reach here, the wind becomes very, you know, the wind blast becomes very high, and then, you know, sometimes, uh, especially in the afternoon, uh, you'll not be, you'll be kind of disbalanced. Uh, that's what I don't like about this highway. All right, construction going on. We'll take a ride from here. So right now we have reached Chunzom, okay? So we'll be crossing Chunzom. Alright, you can see the board out here. Uh, you can go to Paro, Taksang, and Drugal Zong if you take right, and if you take left, it towards Ha Valley. Oh! Look at the mountains.
view is just next level and if you uh, look at the river it's also become dark which means only in the source so i'll be following him now he's a pretty fast rider so need to choose between Thimphu and Paru. It's just that Thimphu is a capital also. Uh, there are a lot of population is more and also there are a lot of opportunities and also uh, you know the market is good out there. Whereas uh, Paru is a very calm and organized city I would say. It's the uh, third largest in the country. not much okay the distance will be from here around 35 kilometers but then like the road is very narrow and also it's a twisty road so I think for us it's going to take us about two one and a half hour okay roughly so I'll show you the roads how it is of the school is Wochu lower secondary school Risle or as that? Huh? Sarvare. Oh, Jada, my dear. Jacket long, then you Oh. Okay, we stop here to take a rest because uh, this man <laughs> almost killed the pillion out here because <laughs> of the sitting posture. Encountered a mon monkey out here, and she's eating strawberry. Strawberry. Dada, hmm? what I do? Just... Okay, we are going to pick up some wild strawberries from here. <laughs> also got tempted, so I'm also having some strawberry, wild strawberries. Uh, let me show you. Mm, nice. As you can see, the, the trees on either side are pine trees, pine trees, and they are so large as well. I think It's very cloudy and we are almost 4,000 meters above the sea level. It's exactly 3,988 meters above the sea level right here. All right guys, we have finally arrived. Where do we park our guys? Motor point in Bhutan. I mean like... Well, we're climbing up. Huh? Aja? Check out the view. Dora, my name is. Upperson, Upperson. Ooh, look at the view. So that road you see down there, it uh, goes towards Ha. So uh, pass. 
It's between Ha Valley and Paro Valley, okay? Ha is a different district. Check out the view, guys. Riding motorcycles at 4,000 meters above the sea level almost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh this was a bad idea. Check out the view. So you must be noticing a lot of flags out here. So uh, it's got a uh, significance. All right, uh, we have finally reached, and uh, this is the view, 360 view of this place. We have parked our bikes here, and we'll go for a walk now. Anda, Ravinda, Kazza. Okay, we are starting now. We'll climb up. And there's a monkey who always looks for <laughs> strawberries and <laughs> stops to eat from the ground. Okay, this is how it looks, okay? Right. Oh, we have made this far now. And uh, it started to rain a little bit. So I'll tell you about these flags, okay? So you will basically see these flags in the mountains and uh, there are two types of flags okay, you will be seeing. So one will be totally uh, white which is uh, dedicated or which is hoisted in the name of uh, who have departed from this world. Okay, And the one those are colorful ones are to bring uh, you know to basically to neutralize the spiritual uh, energy to bring the positive vibe around this place we host uh, this colorful flag so about these mountains just now you'll feel that that is the top but when you reach there there's another mountain which is taller than that so this is what happens So today we covered around 200 kilometers. We went for a ride after a very long time. So my neck was hurting and also, you know, some body aches. So we came directly to Thimpu and, and, and my camera was off. So uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it and uh, see you in another one. Here we go.